Hey guys, this is Andy from Mobile Must Have. I'm excited in this video to walk you through an install we recently did for a good friend of ours, Mike Winland from RV Lifestyle. This is my life, uh, my bread and butter, my life yeah. blood, the internet, and yeah. being able to travel and go to places and have reliable communications. You want to plug the wire? Now, this video is actually really exciting and important and something we run into a lot. We were reached out to by Mike from RV Lifestyle to help him set up a better internet solution for him in his RV. And I wanna take you through that install to kind of show you what we did, give you a different idea of how installs can be done in fifth wheels. And just, I think showing examples of the stuff is always important and how we solve the problem. But one key thing I wanna talk really important on early in this video is the importance of high quality hardware, which we know is important and that's why we sell Peplink, it's the best one. But really also the importance of the configuration on the firmware side of the hardware too. And with Mike, this is a great example of someone that had a Peplink already, um, but with the service and the company they had it from, it wasn't configured very well. So he had a terrible time using it and it wasn't doing anything he needed it to. And he was basically completely locked out of that hardware altogether. Now the configuration side of this, it really takes this to the next level and is something that you can't get out of any other router is a program called Speed Fusion. And what Speed Fusion is going to do is it is going to combine all of these internet sources together and create a multi-lane kind of road of traffic that he is going to be able to put all his all of his internet usage through. So if you're on a live stream and Starlink drops out because you're under a tree like I am here and it's dropping out every nine minutes, the rest of that network is still going to go over cellular. And then if Starlink comes back, it'll, it, you won't ever drop out. You're not going to drop a phone call. You're not going to drop a live stream. You're going to stay connected as your entire internet connection is going through multiple sources. Today, we are doing an install with Mike here on the Ultimate Road Warrior 5G bundle. And we're also going to be including a Starlink flat mount install with this. We're going to take you along, show you the install process. Now, Mike, before we kind of get started, I wanted to ask you a couple questions about like, why did you call us? What were the issues you were having and and kind of can you explain to us about like what you were looking for? Okay, first, why I called you guys. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of really, I don't want to say fly by light. No, I will say it, fly by night people out there. <laughs> and um, I know you guys aren't. Uh, I know some of the people that you have worked with, mm -hmm. uh, they have highly recommended you. And uh, plus I've met you around at, at uh, various functions yeah. in the RV industry. Yeah. And the reason I called uh, after I decided I needed to talk to you guys is um, this is my life, uh, my bread and butter, my life yeah. blood, the internet, and yeah. being able to travel and go to places and have reliable communications. And although I have been able to do so, it has been a challenge. I have to have, um, I have a, a router I have an internet plan, I have a Verizon MiFi internet plan, I have a backup MiFi with an internet plan. Uh, and oh, So many different connections. And yeah. uh, I have Starlink, mm -hmm. and I would put Starlink up every time I'd, mm -hmm. I'd come in, I'd put it up and put the dishy up and there'd be a tree. Or I had to somehow get it up in a windstorm with the telescoping oh, antenna. My gosh. And it was yeah. just a pain. Yeah, yeah. It was a pain. and. Um, Two or three times when I'm doing a live stream, it would just die. The cell connection oh would die. Starlink, the weather would change. Starlink mm -hmm. would go. And as I said, it's my bread and butter. Yeah. So I need the best system I can get. And that's why I called you guys. Well, let's get you going. Let's set you up and uh, we'll do some tests at the end. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Now, this is not going to be a step-by-step -step install video, but I did want to give an idea of how we did the install, things we considered like placement. Uh, so when we first got to Mike, it was pretty easy um, to find a place to install it. He has a back entertainment system on it. From that, we know there's AC and DC power. That's how you run your TV. That's how you run your radio. So it was pretty apparent quickly that that was going to be the best place for us to install the overall unit. And we even confirmed that by pulling out his radio. There was 12 volt power right there. So it was really easy to grab that power, put the pep link kind of really next to that, and it would be a great place to do that. And right above that, there was no AC units or any issues there. So we just were able to put the antenna right on the roof right above that. 
Uh, first thing we do with all our installs is we always kind of focus on the outside first, whether it's because of the weather and it's warmer, unlike today. Um, it's just really easy to do. So we installed the box that we're going to do all of our cable work through first. We did that on the ground. This is where you can really see Icotech coming into play, um, where we're putting in an 11 one antenna with Starlink. So we have 12 cables coming down from the roof into the RV. And then from there, uh, once the box is ready, we go up on the roof, we can drill a hole. We put in a two inch PVC pipe, where basically it's going to be a cable drop system. And then from there, we put a box on top of that. This creates a really, really tight water solution that is not going to have any water coming in. Even if water does get into the box, you now have basically an inch of water that can be sitting inside the box before it's going to come in the RV. So multiple layers of kind of protection there, of course, with Dicor all over it. So it's really creating a simple solution there. Now with the antenna, um, the antenna we just kind of placed a magnet mount based antenna on a galvanized steel plate right next to the box so it was far enough away from the AC unit, it was well placed, if it ever needs to be changed out in the future, it's just stuck with a magnet down. Um, we can easily remove that and change out for any future antenna that you might want, even though this is a dual rated 5G antenna, that is not going to happen anytime soon. Once the box is put in place, we have die crawl around it, we can start fishing the cables through the Icotech system. You can see that here, it just looks so nice and clean and we know it's every grommet is designed specifically for that type of cable and that like the cable thickness. Uh, we have full bundles of these on our site if you're looking for something like that. So make sure to check out our site, if, depending on what type of antenna you've got, we've got bundles for that. We can always reach out to our support staff if you've got questions. But the Icotech solution is really solid here um, and created a perfect solution for my we also brought the Starlink over, so we installed the Starlink antenna at this point too. We moved that up further on the roof just due to placement. We wanted a flat surface for the Starlink to be mounted so that it had the proper runoff for snow melt or anything else that might be collecting on that antenna. And then we had a long enough cable, so make sure you measure that cable too, to do a drop down into the cabinet below. So that is the thicker cable. Again, we have a grommet specifically for the uh, Starlink high performance dish on our site too. Um, and all of that goes down inside. Now, once you're inside, it's pretty straightforward. We're mounting the peplink. We're going to make sure the power supply for the Starlink is in the right spot and we're connecting everything together. Really the install, while though it might be a little time consuming to make sure everything looks good and it's perfectly clean, it's really not that complicated overall. Now, this is where the key thing comes in from configuration. We have all this hardware set up. We've got everything set up and you could put in a SIM card, you could fire it up and be on 5G and you would be good to go. But there's more to it than that. We can create more stability. We can create more channels. We can create more to this. So it is a better, more robust solution as you're traveling around. And this is really where the solutions that mobile must have come into place and the services we offer can be huge um, and definitely worth considering. Uh, now, to wrap this all back into Mike, this made a huge difference for him in his overall live streams. He hasn't had any single dropouts since we've been talking to him for about a month post the installation here. Um, he's had a really great time and a great experience overall using this between Starlink, uh, and it goes through basically a little bit of trees like this with that high performance one. Um, but it's overall had a great, great experience. Now with Speed Fusion, they know that their, their networks aren't being dropped as, as Starlink might be jumping between different satellites as they jump overhead and going seamlessly in between cellular and satellite. He doesn't even have to do anything to set that up. This is the same system Eric and I have been using for years in RVs, making sure they work. And this is the same stuff we travel with every day um, as we continue to travel around the country, exploring the great place. And the whole reason we're out here in the first place is to kind of explore but still be able to work and be connected as as we do so like modern humans of the time now if you guys have any questions about any of the products you've seen or setup guides or anything like that you can't find feel free to leave a comment below you can also chat with a live human on our website during the day um, at mobilemusthave.com on the bottom right side of the screen you'll see a chat icon you can also shoot us an, in, an email at info at mobilemusthave.com and we'll get back to you as soon as we can too uh, we're here to help you guys stay connected and we're any issues you might have. Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much. Hope to see you on the road.